Welcome back! Today's video I decided I wanted to use the Prism palette from Anastasia For today I did this look This palette has so many different colors that you could use for the holiday season Like for different holidays, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving Even I see colors for Valentine's Day I really like this palette a little bit more than Actually a lot more than the Subculture palette I still have to test out the Subculture that's really nice. I still want to test out the subculture palette because I only used it like a couple of times. I also want to do a video with that palette over here on YouTube for you guys. And if you guys want to see how I did this look, make sure you keep on watching and make sure you subscribe, like, and comment down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get on with it. I already started off by doing my eyebrows off camera and I used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. This one's in medium brown. I'm going to be using the Smashbox 24 hour primer and it's been a while. I love this primer because I feel like it makes my eyeshadow last for the longest time. So I can trust this not to crease my eyelids. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Prism Palette. I actually started using it and I actually really like it. It's better than the Subculture Palette. I'm going to start off by using Unity, which is this bone shade right here. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid just to smooth out the eye primer. And it'll be easier to blend out the eyeshadow. Taking this shade right over here, it's like a nice orangey shade. It's called Saturn. I'm gonna be putting this onto my crease and just blending it out. take this bright yellow and I'm gonna put this on top of the orange with these eyeshadows I feel like it's way easier to build up and take a little bit more of the orange The shade Parallel really reminds me of all the browns that are in the subculture and the renaissance. I feel like they put it in every palette, but the formula is really different in all of them. I'm putting this in the outer corner and creating a V shape. And this brush is for Morphe, I just don't know what number it is because I had it for a while. So I'm just going to blend this towards my crease. And it's okay to get messy in the eyelid because we're going to clean that up with some um, concealer. And I'm going to take a little bit more of the Saturn color and put it on there just so it could show more. Honestly, the flesh that I have on right now it's kind of blinding me, so I can't really see what I'm doing. All I know is that I have to keep blending. Blending is key. I'm gonna, gonna take more of the brown. And I'm gonna put that in there. Don't mind me. Right? Okay, and I decided just to do one eye because I feel like I take way too long just going back and forth, back and forth. And then I just lose lighting which is not good when you're recording with your phone. I thought I was going to use the concealer to clean this up, but I'm going to be using the NYX eyeshadow base. It's called Skin Tone. 
I've been using this so much and there's still so much in here. I like it a lot. And I usually just go over my actual crease because I cover that up. Okay, that scared me, I'm not gonna lie, but I didn't wanna mess up my eyeshadow. After I put that in, I like to blend it with my finger just so it won't be so thick and not blended well. And I just like to smooth it out. Just smooth it out, guys. And then I'm gonna take Unity and put it right on top to set this sucker in. So be looking like this. Take Parallel again and then just make sure everything's looking nice and cleaned up. The same thing I did here with the eyeliner to this side. So, cheats. I'm going to be using the Dodo lashes. These are in D115. These are my favorite lashes ever. Because, girl, they look dramatic, and you know me, I like the really dramatic look. And so, jeez, these are my favorite, and they're usually like $5, so they have sales all the time. The original price is $30, I think. Moving on to the face, and I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So I'm just going to rub this in all over the places I have large pores. And it's not really necessary to put primer under your eyes. Because that just makes everything look more cakey. So I just like putting it on the places that I have pores. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So mainly on my T-zone and on my chin. And yeah. I'm going to be using the Smashbox um, Photo Finish Prime Water. And I like to spray this on my face. Just a little bit. And also on my on my sponge, and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, and this one's in shade 220. I don't take my foundation under my eye because I don't think I need a lot of coverage under there, so I only use concealer there. For my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Chart Chart the Tarte Shape Tape concealer, and I actually really like this concealer because it doesn't crease my under my under eye and it looks good and a little bit goes a long way so don't go crazy I've been liking just to bronze up my face not contouring and I've been using the butter bronzer and it's all broken now so look the kind of thing oh oh can y'all see? That's nasty. You ugly for that. I'm actually gonna just contour my nose. I'm gonna be using this shade. And I'm gonna move on to highlight because I haven't been really using blush lately. I've been really using highlight and bronzer, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna bring back the glow kit. This one's in Sun Deep, and I'm gonna use Summer. This shade over here, like that. Yes. It's been a while. Oh, yeah. And I like to put some here on top of my eyebrow. I feel like it makes my forehead look bigger. And I'm gonna put some on my nose. Just right there. And I'm gonna put it 
on top, like in the middle. I'm coming back to the palette and I'm taking this bright yellow and I'm gonna put this in the inner corner right over here. Woo! Oh yeah. That's the stuff I like to see. I'm gonna do it on Ooh. I think I got carried away. Ooh, I love how that looks. I'm gonna take this shimmer shade. It's called Lucid and it's like a nice silvery shade. I feel like it has a little bit of yellow in it. I'm gonna put that right on top of it. That way it could glow. I'm gonna take Lucid again and I'm gonna put this on my brow bone. I'm gonna take Parallel and I'm gonna put this on my waterline. The lipstick that I'm gonna be using is from ColourPop and it's called Tansy. And for my setting spray, I'm gonna be using the Morphe. And I like to put my setting spray before my mascara because I feel like every time I put my mascara before my setting spray, the mascara goes all over the place and it's a hot mess. I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Mascara and this is like the sample size. I got this with my Sephora point, so hello. So, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the video and I hope you guys come back next time. If you guys want me to use any of the colors from this palette or a palette, make sure you'll tell me down below. I'll probably do it. I know I take forever to upload the video, but you know, stuff happens. Yeah. Alright, bye!